up with Hawaiian Electric Company. I work in the uh, renewable technologies department. Hi, I'm Mike Angelo, and I work with the Hawaii Natural Energy Institute. I work with the so, and so we're here at what's called the High Surf Center, which is the Hawaii Sustainable Energy Research Center, and they do an enormous amount of research on hydrogen, renewable technologies, and in particular fuel cells. What we have here is uh, set up to demonstrate um, hydrogen, photovoltaic, and uh, renewable technologies, in particular running a fuel cell. All you're seeing here is a bunch of energy conversion. The first thing we have is these lamps which are simulating the sun that you would see outside. They, the sunlight hits these devices which are known as silicon savannah, solar panels. The solar panel takes that sunlight and converts that to the electricity. The electricity flows out of these wires that you see here and flows into this device here. This device has water inside it which is agent to up. And on each side of the each side of this device, which is known as an electrolyzer, you put, you convert the H2O into hydrogen on one side, oxygen on the other. The oxygen flows into these tanks here, where it then flows again into what's known as a fuel cell, and you run the process in reverse, where you have hydrogen going into one side of the cell, oxygen going into the other side of the cell, and in this case. Instead of using electricity, you are converting the chemical energy of the hydrogen and the oxygen into electricity. And that electricity flows out of these wires here, the red and the black wires, and it goes to this motor, which is spinning the propeller. So in this... So what is a fuel cell? Fuel cell is like a battery. It takes chemical energy and uh, produces, turns it into water and you get electricity out of it to power things like a PlayStation or any type of device that you need. So, what do you need to power a fuel cell? You need two things. You need oxygen from the air around you, and you need hydrogen produced from a source like water. How long does a fuel cell last for a That's a great question. The range on a fuel cell vehicle is similar to that of a gas-powered vehicle. You can typically get about 300 miles out of it. It's limited by the amount of hydrogen that you go in your tank. Just like a car is limited by the amount of gasoline. What other applications are there for fuel cells? So we can use them to have backup power for any type of fuel, for homes, for businesses, for hospitals, emergency generation. So it has a lot of applications. So how many fuel cells will it take to power a car? It depends on the size of the fuel cell. Look, we have an example over here of approximately something that would be similar in size to what you would see in a fuel cell vehicle. The beauty of this little demonstrator is this is a small scale demonstration of something that, that can be scaled up uh, to utility size. And it's demonstrating a couple of different concepts of renewable energy uh, produced from the sun. That renewable energy is converted to power or load represented by our little fan over here. And when the sun goes out or we turn this light off, you'll see that it'll still power, it'll still run. There's no sunlight, but yet we have energy storage here. So as long as we've made and stored our gas, our oxygen and hydrogen, the load will continue to be served and the motor will continue to run. Uh, I just wanted to say a special thanks goes out to the High Surf facility and all the research they're doing for hydrogen and renewable technologies.